All right, well, grab your dancing shoes and start moving to the music and counting along. The 34th annual festival celebrating Polish history begins in Pulaski. Tonight officially kicked off the Polka Day festivities. Yeah, after all, it is the official Wisconsin dance. The bands are playing for another hour or so, and as Fox 11's Beth Jones found out, people from across the country are already in town. Richards and Sherry Sheem are self-proclaimed Pocaholics. I put on 13,000 13, miles last year and danced in seven states, so I traveled a lot last year. So, so he goes a lot without it. <laughs> the two and their friends travel across the country to polka festivals. This is the group's first stop in Pulaski. We just call each other up or else we email each other. And we have one from California, one from Washington, one from Oregon, I'm from Montana, and he's from South Dakota. And we just decide where the next place is. And we heard great things about this Pocathon, so we're here. The four-day festival has been a long-standing tradition in the small village. It draws thousands of polka enthusiasts each year. But coordinators say it's more than just a good time. It's what the town is all about. It represents uh, the music, and and the dancing and it means a lot and uh, the polka industry for for Pulaski, hey, it's it's been here from when Dick Rogers and a lot of the other bands that used to be around here you know passed on. It's it's all family. Twenty two bands are scheduled to perform through the weekend. Otto says the event grows each year, drawing new faces like the polkaholics to the grounds. Just the camaraderie and just the good music and good people. In Pulaski, Beth Jones, Fox 11 News.